Happy Armistice Day, 820 here on the Big 550 KTRS. One of the greats, one of the giants was a man named Mark Pullman, who was a bartender and a veteran of Vietnam, by the way. He was a longtime bartender at the Cheshire. Uh, when he left there, the place uh, closed down and um, ghosts. But thank goodness it is now reopened. They cleaned all the dust, but they left all the good parts, took out all the bad parts. To so talk about the Cheshire, the new and improved Cheshire, is Chef Rex Hale. Rex, welcome back to Big 550 KTRS here in St. Louis. Thank you so much. Do you see ghosts of the Cheshire? Do you see Ron, uh, Mark Pullman running around They're there? They're floating around everywhere. We still have some living ghosts, actually. We actually have someone that worked there uh, 20 years ago. 20 so, years ago. Yeah, he, he's still working with us today. Have you found any of Mark Pullman's puffy shirts around? No, but we'll be looking for him uh, now that you've reminded puffy me they're shirts? there. He used to wear puffy shirts all the time. <laughs> like yeah. the Seinfeld? Yes, yeah. he invented oh, no. the puffy shirt, yes. Uh, uh, There's a little plaque behind the bar um, at the Cheshire of, of Mark Pullman. He was a, he was a legend. Um, but you guys have fixed it up, you, you've renovated it, and it's it's a restaurant as well as a bar area. Yeah, it absolutely is. We've we've renovated the space. Upstairs is the restaurant, um, and then we have Basso in the basement, and then we have a restaurant banquet space called the Upstairs and the Upstairs Building, which was also banquet space previously. Right. It, uh, you've taken that what was um, sort of a, a, a gem and sort of really breathed new life into it, I guess. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it. it's an iconic building in St. Louis, and it remains so because they basically maintained the integrity of the building but just dressed it up and right. made it fresh and new. It's Sorry. a gorgeous space, and I must say I'm there at least once a month for brunch. Yeah, there's, but, but there's all little nooks and crannies. Let's start with Basso downstairs. That's more of the... That's an Italian gastropub, and it's more for... Um, you know, coming in for pizza, pasta, a selection, a great selection of beers, uh, 32 beers on tap and right. another probably 60 in bottles behind the bar. And you've sort of kept that. It's sort of that nice feel, that same old Cheshire feel, right? It's, it's still there. It's a very comfortable space. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really, it, it's very cozy. And especially this time of year when the fireplaces are lit, it's just amazing. Yeah. It's just a stunning place. And the number of people that have come to me and told me stories since I've been there, I, I it's every day sure, yeah. that, that have had experiences there in the past. Okay. It's just really incredible. So that's Basso downstairs. Yes. And then above Basso, what's that place called? That's called the restaurant. That's called the restaurant. Right. And the restaurant's just adjacent to the hotel building. Mm -hmm. You can walk out the front door of the hotel right into the restaurant. Right. Or or Valley Park and come on in. Sure. And the restaurant is where we'll be serving uh, a dinner for Michael Ruhlman coming up November 19th. Michael is a very, uh, very well known and respected food writer. He's written probably 20 cookbooks and he's a James Beard award winning author and he just released a book called How to Roast. And so we're going to be doing something with him on November 19th, cooking a dinner with him. Beautiful. And then after that, we've got more events coming up for the holidays. We've got our great Thanksgiving buffet. Uh, I brought a couple of the items here for you. We've got the uh, squash soup with uh, sorghum creme fraiche, toasted pumpkin seeds, the autumn green with uh, apples, local apples, candied walnuts, and Beachy Farm goat cheese. And you couldn't not have Thanksgiving without having pumpkin pie. That looks so like a real pie. homemade pumpkin That's pie. That's a homemade pumpkin pie. We have our baker uh, baked that up this morning, and we brought it over here for you to enjoy. But this is what we'll be serving on Thanksgiving. Uh, the restaurant's got a great wine list, right? Got a whole bunch of great wine. Yeah, it's it's a fabulous wine list. We won awards this year from wine enthusiasts and the wine spectator yeah. as well. It's not a foofy restaurant, but it's a nicer restaurant. Is that, is that, it's is that, a nicer restaurant. It's not foofy at yeah, all yeah. it's it's a very comfortable place you can come in with your family you can come in with your friends uh, we do large parties so we, we sure we, we're pretty much trying to make it like the old place but just updated it yeah so, think, that's a great point and the thing i like about thanksgiving more and more restaurants are offering thanksgiving people don't want to cook you know all the time no they sure don't i'll tell you that's for sure um Thanksgiving reservations are already like just off the chart and mm. we're really excited about that because you're right people don't want to cook it's it's so much easier not to fight with each other and go out and have <laughs> it's much easier to fight, fight in, in, in public, in public. Uh, the Fox and Hound is open 
You, the, you took the layer of dust off everything, and you kept all the great stuff. Oh, the Fox and Hound is, it looks almost like it did. They, right. they cleaned it up, and it's such a gem. They still have the half yards of beer over there. Yes. and It's just, again, uh, just keeping the integrity of what, what was there and just updating it. And the, and the whole hotel has been completely renovated from totally top to bottom. Totally renovated from top to bottom. The rooms are incredible, and they still have mm -hmm. the specialty rooms. And when you go in to the room, you have a book from an author. It's an English author right. that's in your room. And they have the James Bond room, which is pretty stunning. Oh, they have the, 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 the Shakespeare room. and the, they still like the jungle room? They, or? they have all those rooms. Yeah, the Shakespeare room. They have a room like the jungle room. They have uh, the... Uh, all of them are by author, so there's an Agatha Christie, Agatha Christie room. There's all different authors, all English authors, as a matter of fact. Uh, Sunday brunch, I know, is big over there. Tell us about Sunday, Sunday brunch. Sunday, well, let's talk about brunch in general. We're open for Saturday for brunch as well. So we're open Saturday for brunch and Sunday for brunch. We decided to open probably a few months ago for Saturday for brunch, and it's picked up every day. It's a, it's a different crowd. Saturday brunch is the people that... Uh, we're out Friday night and coming back in for nice eggs and to wake up and, and then families. And Sunday brunch has been extremely successful since we opened yeah. it. Can you tell us about the George Clooney room over there? Uh, I can't tell you any specifics <laughs> about that. All right, fair enough. Uh, uh, Rex, how can we find out more about the Cheshire and all they have to offer? Well, all you need to do is uh, go to www.cheshire.com. Uh, STL.com. More importantly, did you bring one piece of pie, or is there more than oh, one? Oh, there's piece? a whole pie in because there. We, okay, are, good. we will so I, fight I, over I it. Well, because I wanted Kelly imagine. to get a little pie, too, but if, <laughs> if, if you only have one, one piece, she wasn't going to be able so to get some. You're so funny. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Rex Hale, the chef of uh, the Cheshire, and all it comes with. Uh, one more time, that website again? It's www. CheshireSTL.com. CheshireSTL.com. And uh, our thoughts and prayers with uh, the one and only Mark Pullman. You know, it's a great place over there at the Fox and Hound, but the bartenders need a little more attitude. They're just oh, way too nice over there. They're too nice. They're, they're, well, they're too nice. Well, we'll get some surly bartenders. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Maybe All right. Bill uh, Chef Rex Hale, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh, 828 here, Big 550 KT.